Welcome to Storytime with Granny. This story is called The Cherry Dress and it's written by Elizabeth Honey. Grandma was making a dress for Sally's birthday. She knew Sally loved cherries. Snip, snip, snip went the scissors around the pattern. Soon the dress was finished. Grandma hurried to the post office to make sure the parcel would arrive on time. Look what came in the mail for Sally's birthday. It's a dress, said Sally, a cherry dress. Quickly she tried it on. Oh look, said Sally, the dress is too big, it's too long. Room for growing, said Mum, I can fix it. Mum pinned up the hem, then sewed it and took the seams in. cherry dress fits me, said Sally. It's great. All through the summer, Sally's favourite dress was washed and worn, washed and worn, washed and worn. The cherries turned from red to pink. Winter came and summer clothes were packed away. Sally and her sister Lucy wore woolly jumpers and warm socks. The days grew warmer. Mum sorted through the summer clothes. Hooray for summer! I can wear my cherry dress again, said Sally. Oh no, look Mum, the dress is too small. It's too short. You've grown so much, said Mum. You're becoming a big girl now. I can fix it again. She unpicked the hem. She let the seams out and over a splodge of paint that wouldn't wash out, Mum sewed a pocket. Dad ironed the dress and Sally wore it to kinder. Sally put stones in the pocket and feathers and shells and gum nuts and jelly beans. The cherries turned a paler pink. Another winter came. The dress was packed away again. Next summer, Sally squeezed into the dress. It's very tight, said Sally sadly. I can't make it bigger this time, sweetheart, said Mum. You've just grown so much. <music> Sally had an idea. She found some bright paper and wrapped up the dress. Here you are, Lucy, a very special present. Lucy was happy. Lucy sang, Cherries in the morning, cherries in the evening, cherries at supper time. The cherries turned from pink to white. Lucy wore the dress for one more summer. She gave it to Maria next door. Maria likes that dress, said her mother. Up went the hem and in went the seams. Do you like my new dress, Nono? Maria asked her grandpa. Lucy gave it to me. Beautiful, he said. Those cherries look good enough to eat. Maria wore the dress for two long hot summers. Then 
Maria gave it to her friend Bonnie. Bonnie never wore it. She hated dresses. In fact, she hated clothes. So Bonnie's mum gave the dress to Fiona. I think it's lovely, said Fiona. Fiona's dog Wolfie had a litter of puppies. One of the puppies tore the dress. Oh dear, said Fiona's mum, I think the cherry dress is all worn out. But I think I know somebody who might like it. So, Fiona's Teddy wore the cherry dress, and everywhere Fiona went, Ted went too. One day, Fiona was playing with Ted on the swing. A big girl rode past on her bike. She saw Ted and she stopped. Can I have a look at your Teddy's dress, she asked. It looks like my dress. It is my dress, said the friendly girl. That was my dress when I was little. My grandma made it for me. <music> Sally raced off to tell her family. Sally's dad took a special cherry dress photo of Sally, Lucy, Fiona and Teddy. And they sent the photo to Sally's grandma. That's the end.